Hello, everybody. Um, welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, new year, new me, new video, new series. This is going to be the first of many video uh, of an ongoing devlog series. But I'm not going to dive too much into the nitty gritty of the development. Uh, hopefully, it's just going to be like five minutes uh video every episode so i can do it like daily or maybe like every other day so at least that's the plan uh for for now uh, let's see how consistent i can be and um yeah so it is a third person shooter and in this video i'm gonna show you a little bit or share you uh some of the resources that i use um maybe some underrated uh website or just like youtube channel that may you might not know but what i found is really really useful for me especially while developing this and so yeah if you like that stick around and let's just get to the first resource that i find is useful that i found is useful i cannot speak english uh, that i found useful so let's just get into it i'm gonna die oh shit well i shouldn't swear but whatever ah, i'm dying all right let's just get into it and so the first resource that I find that I found useful uh, is this freestylized.com where uh, they provide like a high quality stylized texture, which is the look that I'm looking for. If you want to look for something uh, that is more realistic, you can go to Poly Heaven. Maybe I'll cover that next one. But yeah, anyway, so it has like a lot of great stylized texture and also Skybox. If you want to kind of like uh, meddling around with the uh, stylized like outdoor uh, type of level you can also download the skybox and so yeah the pbr texture it has like great texture it has all the maps that is um what is it the uh, pinnacle not the pinnacle what is it the pillars of good pbr texture uh, even though sometimes it looks a little bit too realistic uh, not too stylized but again uh, the point of this is that at least in my project currently um it's just to see like how or what kind of intensity of the texture that I want to have in my level that's gonna like really really helpful instead of like oh I think I need to paint my own texture so on and so forth it's just like take so much time and just having this kind of like plug in play I don't know if that's the correct terms but I just plug it in and then put it in and then it's uh, good to go and this is the this is actually the, this texture that I downloaded and just incorporated on my um wall here and as you might see maybe here there are like different kind of surfaces and you know there's like surface one two and three so this is the main surface so this is this one and then this is also from the same site uh what is it that i downloaded and then just put it in and that's really really useful to just have this good uh detailed look of um the level itself so again it's just make your level design faster so that's the first source Let's move on to the next one. And the next one is uh, interfaceingame.com. So this is more if you like, if you want to find some kind of inspiration for your UI items and stuff. I used it a couple of times in the past. And, you know, it's a really, really useful side where you can just like focus on um, certain menus uh, from uh, different games. But I don't know, maybe this is my internet connection that's kind of like bad and stuff, but it kind of like takes a lot of bandwidth to show the images, but you get the idea. Like this one, for example. So for an option menu, it has like, oh, you know, I want to know the option menu of this game. Uh, this is really helpful because it has a lot of uh, game in, in its database, but not every game is in the database. So just in case you want to, you know, uh, steal some menu from like oh i want to see hades i don't if there is no hades here then maybe you need to search on youtube and just like scour around but yeah anyway this, again this is good for inspirational if you want to get like some inspiration in making your ui and yeah let's move on to the next one and the next one is normal map online or it's not dot com but this is normal map online um so basically this is like a tool for you to convert like this height map if you have like a black and white height map you can just uh upload it to this side and then it will create the normal map why is it good it's just good to add some details to your models for example or like if you make a floor or something like that and you have the height map then you can just upload it and uh 
uh, generate the map for it or the generate the normal map for it and that's really really useful and used it a couple time but not in current project because i use this stylized uh, freestylers.com but i have a plan to use this you know sometimes oh uh, you rely on photoshop right and i think photoshop discontinue that um features uh, to make a normal map based on the uh, black and white map like this displacement map like this so this one normal map online is really really good um additional tool for you if you want to create this i think gimp has it i don't know i never really use gimp so maybe let me know down in the comment if there's any other tools that could help achieve this kind of a uh, you know um how should i say like uh, additional map for your uh, 3d model so I would love to know. All right, the next one. Okay, prepare for the flashbang. And here we go. Boom, flashbang. Um, is CG Dive. Uh, they have a tutorials on animation, uh, especially in Blender side of things. And one of the highlights, at least for me, is the uh, add-on that they made uh, for Blender, which is Game Rig Tools. And it is really, really useful if you're working with uh, animation for video games, because Blender and and the other game engine, they handle the deformation and bone setups really differently. And game rig tools kind of like solve that problem, kind of like the bridge, how to convert the Blender animation to game ready animation. Uh, what is What are the problems? I think you just need to check their YouTube videos out or just check the channel and dig for some more information. But again, um, this is one of the best uh, add on for Blender if you are working in blender for video games animation and so yeah and also if you use rigify that is right if you don't use rigify i don't think you need this but if you use rigify then absolutely you need to download this um so yeah that's the yeah, enough with the flashbang let me move on to the next one all right so the next one is is big at least for me you know in terms of impact and also the size of the uh the bundle or the file size here so it's from sonis.com they will uh, every annual uh, in gdc usually uh, they will share the taste of their bundles and it's really really good uh it says like 27.5 yeah you can download that sound pack uh you know right to your hard drive and it's free to use it's the i think the license i don't know it's not cc0 but it just says like you can use it for any type of project until the end of time so on and so forth and that's pretty uh, lenient in terms of licensing licenses um maybe one thing that a little bit of a i don't know it's not really negative i don't know what to say but it's it's random so you cannot really pick and choose hey it's free so you still need to do some kind of a sound design work right um but it's still a great processed audio that you can just like okay i think this one is good for this situation then you can just put it like that with a little bit of an imagination and the next one i think tied into the next one which is the uh, sound processing software i use audacity and this is the sample of uh the bundle from sonis and this is the step what is it uh, sound effect for the robot that in my that i use in my project so Right, so I have this different type of sound and then just mix it together and make it into a different new sound. So usually it's just, or when you get the bundle, it will just like have this industrial lever switch and then it will sound like that. And then, you know, but maybe that not, that's not what you need. So you need to still, again, just to reiterate, you need still, uh, you still need to do some kind of a, you know, labor to appropriate to make the uh, sound effect appropriate to the situation that you're uh, looking for so yeah again so you can go to sonis.com or gdc.sonis.com and anyway all the link uh or that i show you is going to be put in the description so don't worry taking note better and stuff all right and so this is i guess the last one uh is good shader not a lot of people no maybe i don't know like people sometimes comes to or leave a comment on my videos asking like how do you do this how do you do that you can actually just find it and uh, search for it like they have like good amount of uh shader collection here starting from like making like a black hole like this one or just like um 
making a parallax mapping and stuff even though parallax mapping i think is in godot i don't know why they made it but anyway so yeah uh it's all in cc0 license so i think you can just use it but again i think you need to read the license before you implement it in your game and i did it a couple times in the past and yeah i have no problem with it uh and also this is a good source for you if you want to learn like a written shader one because i'm start doing it uh since last year start to write shaders and stuff uh all the resources from here they have good comments usually and then you can just find different type of stuff uh for different needs especially in terms of shader so yeah shader.com godot shaders.com is a good a source all right so with that being said that concludes the sources that i use or at least the, the one that i found is worth sharing because the other thing is maybe you already know and i don't but i don't know what do you want to know next uh so yeah with that being said i think this is end the video if you want to support the channel you can go to ko-fi.com slash little striker uh link down below uh, you can buy some of the old projects that i have uh, for you to study from my old video as well and if you want to support even further you can donate at least five dollars uh, for this project and you'll get a copy and also you know what uh i will give everybody a copy when the game is released if you buy uh what is it a tutorial or a project file before the game release so i think the tutorial is like five bucks so you're gonna get a free game if you buy anything from the coffee page so i think that's it and yeah hopefully i will see you in the next video and tomorrow maybe and let me down uh, let me know down in the comment below what do you want to know next what do you want me to cover uh because i think there are a lot of things to cover i have something in my mind but if you want to give me ideas please do and so yeah thank you so much for watching my name is Saravidangara signing out see you next time and bye bye let me die again he's dead oh damn all right